We're here in Monterey, California to drive this, the latest from Subaru. It is, of course, the 2015 Subaru WRX STI. The STI comes standard with 18-inch wheels, these guys right here, and they're wrapped in high-performance Dunlop rubber. And one of my favorite features, though, are these headlights. They're LED. Under the hood is Subaru's legendary EJ257. Most of you probably are familiar with it, but for those new to the STI, let's take a quick look. As the name suggests, the EJ257 is a 2.5 liter boxer motor. That means it has horizontally opposed pistons and is attached to Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system. It has an intercooler on top and a big turbo right back there. Essentially, this is a race motor for the road. Rated at 305 horsepower, it has only 37 more than the new WRX. But the STI drivetrain has over a decade of race development making it a safer choice for competition. Thankfully, they didn't apply this same logic to the interior. And we get red highlights in the gauges, and we also have this new three and a half inch multi-function display, which also, of course, has the boost gauge. Now, one of my biggest complaints in the WRX that I drove earlier was this little piece of plastic right here. Well, they actually make it look almost like a piece of metal now. This is, of course, the old school six-speed STI gearbox, and it is really magnificent. But they've made it even better than the old one. They've improved the linkage, so it's actually a little bit smoother. It has Subaru's DCCD system, which, of course, lets me control the center differential, and I can adjust that middle differential by using the diff control here, auto plus, auto minus, or full manual control. And then of course, this also has SI drive. And one of the neat things about SI drive in this car is that if I set it to sport, the car will forever be in sport mode. It's not going to revert back to I. The steering wheel is this really nice leather stitched unit. It's, it's a softer, much more sports car feel than the outgoing model as well. Uh, so pretty much, Overall, the interior is a significant improvement over the older STI. The base model is priced just under 35000 the same as last year's base STI. And even though the drivetrain is unchanged, the chassis is all new. That's a very, very good thing. <laughs> very good. Feels tighter. big wing in the back. Now the wing isn't just for looks, it actually provides significant amount of downforce. That helps neutralize lift at high speeds. So what are the main differences between this and the standard WRX? Well first off, it has the EJ257 motor, which puts out 305 horsepower and 290 foot-pounds of torque. This STI also has unequal length headers, which means it retains the trademark boxer sound. So why not equal length headers like in the new WRX? According to Subaru engineers, it would be more cost effective to simply increase the WRX's FA series motor to 2.5 liters. For now, however, the STI drivetrain still serves up an epic dose of boxer rumble. And it's really quite good. So the main emphasis on the new WRX was of course handling. So what do they emphasize in this new STI? Well, it's not the horsepower because it's the exact same motor as last year's STI. Now, on this one, they also focused on handling. And this is where the value of the STI starts to become more apparent. Under the skin, there are significant changes versus its little brother. Everything from a faster steering rack to specialized suspension. Unlike the WRX, it has an inverted strut design. 
that improves the unsprung weight over the wheels, which improves handling. Now, the only way to really test this car isn't on a public road like here in Carmel. No, we're gonna have to go to some place a little better. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. 2.2 miles of epic asphalt. Here we've brought the new STI to see just how well it handles on one of the best road courses in America. I love this track. Sorry, no donuts or drifting today. Subaru hooked us up with a few laps in the new STI and we need to use our time wisely. That said, it didn't take long to discover the difference. I'm turning and I'm turning and then I can turn a little more and it responds. It doesn't just lackadaisically go, oh, I'm gonna go straight. The understeer has been dialed out. It was only a few months ago that I drove the 2013 STI on the Isle of Man TT course. If only I could have driven this car, Mark Higgins might not have escaped me quite as easily. But wow, the car's handling is trans, it's transformed this car into something much more than it was before. Before it was like kind of like, it, it was fun and you could toss it sideways, but it wasn't very precise. You know, the old ones, it was kind of a, close your eyes and spray the general direction and you'll, you'll come out of it okay, you'll get your target. This one, it's like a sniper rifle. It's just like, oh, and that went pew, pew, pew. Brilliant. In spite of how wonderful this new STI is, and it really is wonderful, I can't help but wonder if Subaru made a mistake sticking to the old drivetrain. Gas mileage is only 17 city, 23 highway, and that will surely scare away some potential buyers. But if you want an STI that has all the benefits of this new chassis, with that unequal boxer rumble, this is the best STI ever. That said, we can't wait for the inevitable switch to the FA series motor. And when that finally happens, mind blowing. Because we have a lot of new devices with a direct in injected engine, but uh, especially for the motorsports, it's very extreme. So we have a lot of experience with the EJ engine, and at this moment, this is the best engine for the motorsports. That's why he decided to stick with the EJ for STI. Yeah.